Let's have a look around our results page. Here we have a study that we launched a few hours ago featuring three assets, one from TV and two from Influencer. It was for a company called Get Your Guide, a travel company. The two influencers uh, creatives were from, one was from the lifestyle vertical and one was from the travel vertical. And we're gonna do a comparison across the results of these three assets. You can see on the right, we have a results grid and we have all the assets here, asset one, asset two, and asset three, all labeled. If you want to make that a little bit easier to recognize, you can give them new labels here and you'll see this one is our TV asset and you'll see that's updated live for you right there. This one is our influencer in the travel vertical and this one is our influencer in the lifestyle vertical. And you'll see we have our labels all updated here. It makes it really easy for us to determine which asset is which when we're analyzing the results. Below your assets on the left, you have your study summary. This is what we configured when we set up the study. And on the right, you have all of your results laid out for you in this grid view. You can see each number here is the lift that this KPI achieved for that given asset. And on the very far left, you have all of your assets combined. These are these are the overall results for all of your assets in terms of their lift. You can see the lift is measured as a relative increase from the control of 28% to the test of 34%. That is a 21% increase. Or looking at preference, an increase from 4.8% to 28%. That is a 484% increase. If that isn't how you like to look at your results, you can also select the absolute lift, which shows you the same data, but just shows you an absolute value, the difference between the test and the control. So the difference between 20 and 25% is five, and you can get a more exact measurement if you hover over the little question mark there, showing you all of the data for each result in one view. Now, there's also helpful indicators across the results page that will help you understand what you're looking at at any given time. This grid view makes it really easy to compare assets on a column by column basis, but also KPIs on a row by row basis. If we look on a row by row basis in the all assets column, we can see that favorability lift seems to have lift the most in absolute terms. And preference lift, if you remember from the relative numbers, has lifted in the, uh, the most in the relative sense. At the bottom there, 484.39%. But looking at favorability lift again, we can see that the two uh, assets, the, the first two assets, the TV asset and the influencer travel asset, both performed very well, 30 points and 32 points, compared to the lifestyle asset, which only lifted 12 points. And then looking on a column by column basis, we can see that the influencer lifestyle asset actually performed worst across every single KPI other than action intent which seems to have performed consistently across the board. But every other KPI, it's performed worse. Now, if you prefer a more traditional view, we also have the charts view, which shows you the same information, but in a more conventional setup. We've got our control bar, our baseline. These are the responses from people who didn't see any assets. Then you have the result, the test result for all of your assets overall. And then each asset broken down. So the result for the TV asset as a test, the result for the influencer asset as a test bar, and so on. And we have that for each of our KPIs listed here. You'll also notice on both pages, we have these markers throughout. These help you understand which results are statistically significant. And you can get a feel for our methodology and how we calculate that at any point by clicking on the help button and then visiting the study methodology. But what this indicates is it's a calculation based on the sample size of the test and the control and also the absolute lift. Combining those two values together, if a lift is smaller, it's more likely that a, that a result will be not statistically significant. But hover over it and get all the context that you need on why that indicator is there. So having a look through these results, we can start to get a feel for 
how each different uh, asset performed inside each different KPI. We can see here inside association that all assets perform positively, although influencer lifestyle was not dramatically better uh, than the control. Didn't have a dramatic impact, only 0.68 point increase. But we've actually measured multiple associations, not just this one. The one that we're looking at right now is a diverse selection of experiences and activities worldwide. But we can have a look at a different association that we measured with the same question. Customized wish lists and travel bucket lists, for example. And if we do that, we can see that the TV asset actually had a negative impact on this association, whereas both the influencer assets both had positive lifts of 2.5 points and 2 points, respectively. So this is how you can have a look at the results of different options in your questions. And if we look, for example, at our action intent, how likely are you to book an experience with Get Your Guide in the last 30 days? Remember this, it was the same lift almost exactly across all the results, 11 points. And this is for the very likely and likely option combination, i.e. people are likely or very likely to book an experience with Get Your Guide and for your assets, that increases that likelihood by 11 points. But if we want to, we can also look at people who are just very likely. We can look at the impact of each asset on just that, um, on just that intent. And we can see that influencer lifestyle actually performed poorly on people, uh, encouraging them to be very likely to book an experience whereas TV and influencer travel were positive. So you can start to get a feel of the power of these very simple metrics in helping you uncover which assets, which platforms, which verticals are gonna perform best for your content. Finally, if you want uh, more control of your data, if you'd like to generate your own charts, for example, you can use our export results functionality, which simply downloads a spreadsheet of all of the data that you're seeing here in this page so that you can analyze it, so that you can generate your own charts and whatever else you'd like to do with that data. And that concludes the overview of our results page.